But before we get into that, folks, before we get into that, and I know I've told you, you know, before we get into that, let's do the NBA. I, I get it. But uh, this came across my Twitter feed real, real late while we were doing our show prep. So I wasn't able to fully investigate it, but I want to kind of see what the hell is going on here because Colin Coward tweets out, and he says this all the time, rumors get out when somebody wants them out. And I truly agree with that. He, this is something that he truly sticks to, and I kind of have been seeing it, um, you know, as I've just kind of been listening to Colin Colin Coward growing up and kind of seeing, you know, what he says compared to what actually happens. Like, this is something that I can kind of uh, live by a little bit. Rumors get out when somebody wants them out. I mean, when people don't want information to be leaked, it doesn't leak. So when somebody has something to gain from something kind of spilling out, leaking out, that is truly what happened. So he says, rumors get out when someone wants them out. The why is the journalism, not the rumor. And then he says, hashtag McVay. So what is going on with McVay? Sean McVay, head coach for the Rams here. One day before the Super Bowl, something coming out. So let me see if I can quickly investigate this. I didn't really see anything pop up on my Twitter feed. So we may have to kind of, you know, play around with Twitter here, searching Sean McVay to see what this rumor is and uh, just kind of looking at some of the comments under here um it's seeming like uh, Sean McVay may retire after the Super Bowl and be in the broadcast booth there do some sort of uh um kind of what were they saying um what were they saying here can somebody tell me what he is referring to and then somebody said it right underneath it people saying McVay will retire and become an announcer in the booth and that seems real crazy like that that doesn't make sense to me. Sean McVay kind of being hailed as one of the smartest head coaches of all time. Uh, you know, coming from that big Washington coaching tree. Uh, but uh, maybe that has something to do with it. I mean, we know Washington is going through scandal after scandal after scandal. Is Sean McVay kind of trying to be like, well, I can't be a head coach. Let me see if I can get in the broadcast booth to kind of soften the pressure a little bit of what is going to come out. And I'm not saying he's kind of attached to Washington, but he was in Washington during those scandal years. I mean, really every single year in Washington, there was some scandal um, just because it didn't come out. I'm, I mean, what we've heard so far, I mean, I'm sure there's more. <laughs> I'm sure there's more. Um, but um, yeah, let's see. I'm not seeing really anything else here, so let me kind of search the old Twitter to see if there's any rumors. Sean McVay, what the hell is going on with this? McVay. What, McVay. Um, I mean, he's on the cusp of winning a Super Bowl doing it the way he wanted. I mean, what more what do you want? Is he just going to kind of do one and say, hey, I proved it and then get out of there? That's some swag shit. I would respect the heck out of him if he could do that. I mean, we always talk about everybody kind of overstaying their welcome and, you know, everybody says all the time, oh my God, why do people, you've got a billion dollars. Why do you keep working? I mean, I, if you gave me a billion dollars, I would just kind of retire and you would never hear from me again. We always get kind of people saying this um, and you never know what you would do in that situation until you are in that situation. So it's just kind of weird that Sean McVeigh they would be like, hey, I'm going to be out of here. So let's see what we get here. From 15 hours ago, um, blue check mark on Twitter, what does he say? What started as a joke turned into a serious and introspective look from Rams coach Sean McVay into his future on Friday. A response made all the more interesting in light of persistent rumors about a potential move to TV. Here's what he said. Yeah, let's see what this man is saying. Let me get his quote. Uh, what do we got from Sean McVay? Here we go. Let's. We got a quote here. Let's read the lead up. Moments after answering a question by saying, quote, he won't make it if he's coaching until he's 60, McVay was asked why he didn't think he would be... The why that would be the case. McVay, 36, stated his response by saying he was joking, but then gave a roughly 90-second answer on the other things he wants to pursue in life, saying, quote, I love this so much that it's such a passion, but I also know that what I've seen from some of my closest friends, whether it's coaches or even some of our players, I'm going to be married this summer. I want to have a family. I think being able to find that balance, but also be able to give the time necessary. Also saying, quote, I have always had a dream about being able to be a father and I can't predict the future, you know. I jokingly say that. 
I don't really know. I know I love football, and I'm so invested in this thing, and I'm in the moment right now, but at some point, too, if you said, what do you want to be able to do? I want to be able to have a family, and I want to be able to spend time with them. So that's seeming like it's getting everybody, the family. Everybody wants a family. Everybody wants a wife. Everybody wants a kid. I mean, can we chase greatness? I mean, we're at the pinnacle of competition, folks. The NFL, there's really nothing better. We know the NFL is king over the NBA folks and that's just speaking to data and viewership and all that NBA, any NFL game dominates any NBA game even the finals all that no disrespect to the NBA we love the NBA we talk about the NBA we bet on the NBA we cash out on the NBA we love the NBA but the NFL is kind of king this is kind of the big at least in America obviously soccer overall worldly is bigger than the NFL I would I would say but overall in America I mean the NFL is king this is king folks you don't get any higher really than the NFL so so we get Tom Brady, you know, kind of retiring early when he's putting up goat numbers that he's never put up before. Year 18, 44 years old, wildness. He decides to retire because, you know, oh, I want family. I want to spend time with the kids. And Sean McVay, he doesn't have any kids. But when this man has a kid, he's going to be like a great father, folks. I mean, he treats like every quarterback like it's his kid. And we see how, like, much of a great relationship uh, grown men are having at the quarterback position with Sean McVay. Sean McVay gets a kid. That's going to be one of the luckiest kids ever, folks. That, that's going to be that's going to be something great so Sean McVay wanting a family here folks that's probably where this is stemming from so um well I, I doubt it until he gets the kid you know I think he can kind of put the wife off a little bit for the coach but once that kid comes Sean McVay is truly going to put all of his time into that kid absolutely uh, this guy says, uh, a lot of respect for Sean McVay pondering retirement and a chill life at home by age 37 because that's also my three-year plan. So, you know, saying it and doing it are two different things. Once again, everyone says, hey, you know, you've got 20 or let's just say you've got $200 million. Why are you working? Why are you working? Why, you know, why are these CEOs that are, you know, are worth billions of dollars? Why are they still working? Is 1 billion that much more than what you have? You know, does that make it all worth it? And they're still working. So obviously, yeah, money's truly worth it. So we'll see when the time comes to make this decision, if Sean McVay truly can hang it up or if the coaching call is always going to be there and he can never kind of quite hang it up. So we'll see how it goes. I love Sean McVay. I mean, this is, I mean, when we talk about coaching folks, I mean, this is really what we want to see. This is what we preach on what we want to see. Almost kind of every attribute that Sean McVay has from the leadership to treating everybody fantastic, to taking um, kind of insight from everybody, from just kind of being that great leader in a player's coach and leading by example and not kind of harping, not doing what Urban Meyer does, hounding people. I will never get over that, folks. I know I use this as an example for everything, but it's just so crazy. That's why we use it. He's not, Sean McVay is not like Urban Meyer hounding everybody for their credentials. What have you done? Do you even know winning? I'm a winner. You are all losers. You need to look up to me. That's such a wild way to go about coaching. I cannot believe in, even believe that he ever got a head coaching job before. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Sean McVay, he's everything we love in a coach. And uh, if he retires a little bit early, I I'd be a little devastated. I'm not going to lie. If he retires, wins the Super Bowl and retires, I would respect it. That's some G-ass shit right there. Absolutely. When you go out at the highest point, like what Tom Brady just did, that's some boss-ass shit. I hate it from a fan perspective, from somebody that loves sports, from somebody that loves watching Tom Brady w every single week. I hate it, but I respect that hell out of it absolutely and if Sean McVay does the same thing wins the Super Bowl this season kind of be, goes to the press conference be like I told y'all I know what I'm doing here I just couldn't do it with Jared Goff I told y'all this y'all never believe me so I'm out drops the mic uh two Super Bowl appearances one Super Bowl win doing it his way confident in himself and everything that he knows to be true confident in all that goes off on top never hear from him has that family that he wants and uh, always leaving us to say every single year, uh, man, I miss Sean McVay. And yeah, Sean McVay maybe could have rivaled Bill Belichick for greatest coach of all time, you know, 30 years down the road. But we never get that because he retired at 36.
So, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that he retires. Once we're talking about babies, once we're talking about kids, I think then we can probably put a little bit more focus on that, that he retires. But until he gets his wife pregnant, I don't think uh, we're going to put too much weight into Sean McVay retiring from coaching. But uh, we will see how all this plays out. And I'm a little, uh, I'm a little upset right now that uh, this may be Sean McVay's final time coaching tomorrow. I don't know if I want to see that. I need to see more Sean McVay. I absolutely love this dude as a coach and I respect the hell out of him.